My name is Ben Lahan. I'm the Education Director for the Leave No Trace Center for Outdoor Ethics, and one of the programs that I manage is our research efforts. Leave No Trace is based in two scientific disciplines, one being recreation ecology, which is really the study of recreation-related impacts and how they're caused, and also what the solutions are to those impacts as far as skills and techniques are concerned. The other piece of recreation ecology is really looking at the managerial implications of recreational impact in terms of how land managers can address those impacts through different management and education strategies. The second scientific field that Leave No Trace relies on is known as human dimensions of natural resources. And really what that involves is looking at the uh, social science side of Leave No Trace, looking at people's behavior and their attitudes, looking at their values and their beliefs associated with spending time in the outdoors and the impacts that are created and resulting from that time they spend in the outdoors. And the intersection of the recreation ecology and the human dimensions work allows us to form strong educational and training programs that focus on Leave No Trace and make it as effective as possible in terms of helping people understand not only the consequences of their actions, but also how they can minimize any impact associated with whatever recreation they pursue. So currently we're focused on two specific studies. One of the studies is looking at use of and uh, the effects of undesignated trails parks and protected areas. Many land managers want to promote uh, use of trails for hiking, biking, running, and so forth, but they also want to curb the use of undesignated trails, particularly when those trails go into sensitive habitats or environments, when they lead to erosion or cause other issues. And so our study was a multi-method experimental design study where we placed different treatments and controls on the landscape to see how visitors would react to those treatments and controls in a real life situation to determine how we can effectively curb the use of these trails but also at the same time provide sustainable trail opportunities for people to enjoy. Another study that the center is currently involved in is taking place in Rocky Mountain National Park where we're exploring boulderers' attitudes and perceptions about Leave No Trace. Bouldering has exploded in the last couple of years, particularly as climbers go from a gym environment to the outdoors. And many of those gym climbers don't necessarily have the skills uh, or the Leave No Trace techniques that they need to minimize their impacts of bouldering. And so this study has really been about determining how we can most effectively message to boulderers about minimizing their impacts associated with their chosen activity. Really what the, the goal is to provide sustainable bouldering opportunities for generations to come. And by understanding their perceptions and their attitudes, we can really tailor our educational efforts to be as effective as possible. So the Lead No Trace Center engages in a variety of different types of scientific research. The primary purpose for us being involved in research is to ensure that our programs are as effective as they can be at helping visitors make good decisions about enjoying the outdoors responsibly. 